Hey guys, Maven here, former WWE wrestler. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna be reacting to the mainstream media calling wrestling fake. What do I agree with? What do I disagree with? And basically, what do I think they get right and wrong? Why couldn't you have a fight between your biggest fighter and a pro wrestler? I'm a huge, huge fan of Colin and huge fan of, uh, of Dana White, so let's hear it. Like, I'd be interested. I would love your guy to pummel a, f a oiled up pro wrestler. The fans are booger eaters to start with, but God, I love. Calling fans, wrestling fans, booger eaters. I mean, that's, a, that's I know he's getting a reaction. I get it. Um, but that's unfair because in the 20 some years that I've been involved with this business in some form or another, I have met wrestling fans of every different background. There's no one specific type of person that is a wrestling fan. I mean, I'm sure there are booger eaters that enjoy pro wrestling, but I also ensure you that there are Fortune 500 company, you know, head executives that enjoy wrestling. You know, I, I, the other day when I called wrestling fake, I had every wrestling weirdo on earth uh, attacking me on it is social fake. media. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know. Nobody's but if, saying they're not athletic, but it's fake. But it's if, scripted uh, television uh, for young boys. Apparently, that's news to a lot of the weirdos out there. I dare to say that the same you know people that are, are wrestling fans are crossover fans to to you know, his business and. Um, most of the people that enjoy professional wrestling also enjoy mixed martial arts. Now, you know, but Colin, you know, being so amped up at the fact that it's fake, that it's predetermined, of course it is. I mean, we've said that for years. No one's trying to make people think that these guys are out there actually having real fights with any, anyone. Trust me, I've been in the ring with William Regal. There's no part of me that thinks that in a real street fight, I'm getting the better part of William Regal at all. If we were going out telling everybody, no, this is real, this is, yeah, this is real, these, these two guys are really fighting, then I understand this vitriol. That's not the case. It's entertainment, just like a movie. The next clip comes from the 1980s, and it's the John Stossel clip, is wrestling real or is it fake? I know you've seen this one. It's one of my favorites. Maybe fake violence breeds real violence, and not just among the fans. It seems to egg on bullies like six foot six inch, two hundred and sixty pound Dave Schultz. I've done conventions with with Dave. He's one of the probably the you know, real toughest guys that's ever been in this business, but one of the smartest, smartest wrestlers of all time and one of the nicest two I've ever met. I ask Schultz questions that I assume all wrestlers have been asked dozens of times. What? Is it a good business? Yeah, it's a good business. I wouldn't be in it if it wasn't. Why is it a good business? Because only the tough survive. That's the reason you ain't in it. And this punk holding the camera reading, he ain't in it. Reading these rednecks out here ain't in it because it's a tough business. I've read stuff about this interaction. I've read that um, Dave was encouraged by the office to enlighten John on the fakeness of our business. I don't know if that's true. Who knows? Um, what I do know and what I can tell is Dave right here, he's in character. Think about it. If he was walking around just every day like this, I mean, he couldn't, he couldn't walk in and, you know, get gas. Whether he was encouraged to enlighten John, I don't know. Who knows? But I know John's about to get the point. I'll ask you the standard question. You know? Standard question. I think it's a fake. You think it's fake? What's that? Is that fake? Huh? What the hell's wrong with you? That's open hand slap, huh? You think it's fake? The very first match I ever had was against Taz. And match one of my wrestling career, um, the spot called for a open hand slap to which Taz hit me on the ear, busting my eardrums. Granted, I was prepared for it. I knew it was coming. John obviously well, you know, wasn't. He didn't have any clue that um, any physicality was coming. You know, was Dave in the in the wrong? Of course he was. And I think, you know, the uh, the lawsuit, the subsequent lawsuits that fell upon Dave and the WWE, WWF at the time, uh, showed exactly how uh, how wrong he was. But 
I mean, he did, he did get his point across, I guess. My only question for John Stossel would be, after the first slap, what the hell made you stand there for the second one if you, if you didn't like the first one? I don't know much about John's you know, career following this, but I'd be willing to bet a large sum of money that he never, uh, never told another wrestler that it was fake to their face. Hey, how much money you got? How much money do I have? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, you got it for me? No, I mean, are you a real, like, you know, I mean, how much you get, like, over 10 million? What you get to a certain level, you stop Vince probably should have right here just thanked him for being wherever they're at, um, answered but how much money do you have question one of two ways. He could have, you know, answered the babyface way. I, I, I'm not sure, but we're trying to make more every day. Or he could have answered it as a heel. How much money do you have? More than you. Beat it. And this feud with Hulk Hogan, is that real or is that just like fake, like, you know? Uh, we don't do anything fake. Well, you know, wrestling is fake, though, right? No. Where the hell are you been? <laughs> Come on. What's the dude? matter with you, huh? <laughs> wrestling is fake. Well, you know what I mean. It's, 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 it's I don't it's, know what you mean. Well, it's entertainment. It's not real fighting. You know? It's not. This guy's trying to get under his skin, and Vince is better than this. Like Vince is smarter than this. I don't know if he doesn't have a handler or somebody. The wrestling is fake. That was a throwaway line for him. Like he was saying that. I don't think he was necessarily expecting the reaction from Vince that he got, but. Once he saw that it got under Vince's skin, he ran with it. He ran with it, which, good on him. Are you amazed by all the white trash that comes out to see these shows? We don't have any white trash. With the exception of present company. Oh, come on. <laughs> Vince, like, he's cutting promos all the time. I wouldn't have. I would have entertained one question, and then I would have skied out of, got out of there. On to the next one. They say this wrestling is not for real, is it? Like, you, you act, or? What we do, if it is acting, we take a normal man and break him in half. Wrestling is one of the finest athletic endeavors that you will ever see. Not only do you get the best of athletics, but you get people who can actually sell tickets by just alone, their character alone. Wrestlers callous their body. They condition their body to take that kind of beating. Taker knows that. He knows what he's been through to get his body to where it is. Not only to take that beating, but to do it athletically. And then on top of that, he talked about what it takes to fill that audience up, to fill those seats and sell tickets, to be a draw, to make money for a promotion and for yourself. Again, Okay, if you think that it's not an actual fight, sure. But is it fake that we're putting hundreds of thousands of seats, you know, in arenas, you know, year after year? So I'm glad he actually went and attacked it from that angle. Not only the athletic aspect of it, but the marketing side of it as well. Good on you, Taker. Let's see what let's see what Vader has to say. I find your remark and your question insulting. It's not my question, it's somebody who... Uh -oh. Does that fucking feel fake, huh? Does that feel oh, fake? Anything. Does it? I've done interviews before where, you know, people insinuate wrestling's fake or predetermined or whatever, and I've never been angered into the, uh, to the question, especially not angered to the point of, of, you know, wanting to physically harm anybody. I've always just felt like if someone's trying to get under my skin, I'm only... I'm only an idiot if I let him. If I would have reacted like that, I can't see it going over well with the office. Um, you know, backstage with the boys, you know, they definitely would have appreciated it. They, you know, obviously guys want to protect what it is we do. I wouldn't have did it because, you know, I know the office, they, yeah, I was on thin enough ice as, as is. <laughs> I would not wanted to, uh, to, to break it any quicker than what I did. The figure four hurts in real life too. The I, figure four leg lock? Yeah. Is that a real thing? That's Rick, like Rick Flair invented it. Figure four leg lock does hurt. It if you put it on right and you and and you apply not even much pressure, it does hurt. See, here's the, why this is so fucking stupid. The guy who's getting his leg cranked is actually the guy who's in the best position. He's in a heel hook position. So Joe is viewing this from from what he knows and. He's 100% accurate with what he's saying from his world. It doesn't seem like he's disrespecting the business yet. Let's see if he does. So who's supposed to be getting hurt here? <laughs> this the is actually... The, the guy in black. The guy in black is... No, no, the guy in this black is... has a better position. <laughs> well, that just told me a lot. The fact that he said the guy in black, he probably 
probably doesn't have a good working working knowledge of of, of our business. When people don't have a good working knowledge of our business, I can't get mad at what they what they don't know. I mean, shoot, I hope I don't ever want anyone to get mad at me for what I don't know. It's right there. You go like this, you clamp your hands together, the match is over. I mean, it, it's 100% over. In real oh, life, yeah. Oh. Well, what the fuck are they doing then? <laughs> what are they doing? Winners or losers? Everybody gets a trophy? Is Wrestling. that what you're doing? You're showing a terrible position. The guy in white. Here's what they're doing, Jeff. They're selling a story. They're telling, in essence, a good guy, bad guy story. Um, and, I mean, every wrestling match is you know, pretty much the exact same. He's not saying anything wrong. All he's doing is he's not seeing it from our angle. That would be my only criticism. The other guy is basically triangling his lower leg. The guy on the bottom is in a better position. This is nonsense. The guy in the bottom fed his leg through the center, which mm -hmm. is the worst thing he could have done right there. Of course we did, Joe. We call that working with your opponent or working in general. The whole artistic beauty of professional wrestling comes by looking and appearing like you're trying to keep your opponent from putting you in a move while at the whole time putting him yourself in the best position to have him put a move on you. That's the art of it. All the moves, are offshoots. They're in some way, you know, formed from the world that he knows, you know, everything. And when we started training, you know, a lot of times Al would actually show us what the real move was and apply pressure so we knew how to sell. But in, at one point, uh, it was uh, Mr. Sacco when he was working with The Rock and they Mr. had the Rocco Sacco connection. Shut your fucking mouth. Yeah. He keeps the sock in his underwear until it's time. <laughs> and then when he gets you down, <laughs> the crowd so goes crazy. Sweat. And he's he pulls, pulling that ball sweat He pulls sock the out. sock out and lifts it up and that uh, crowd Oh goes God. insane. That is the dumbest and most awesome thing yes. I've ever heard. <laughs> I should be on a shirt somewhere. The dumbest and most awesome thing you will ever see. I think we just made the first Maven shirt from this channel. And that, How you doing, bro? For those of you who don't recognize Sting, that there's here with the... Okay. First of all, uh, wow, this is Bill Maher, obviously, from, I think, back in the politically correct days. My first question is, the audience, your audience, they're in on the joke, right? So is your audience. <laughs> so is your audience. So is your audience, man. I think this is when wrestling fans were being let in on the joke, or they were being, you know, brought into, hey, we understand, we know you know what we're doing. You determine who makes it, you determine who becomes the, the big names, who becomes the big stars. They're in on the joke with a weight on the scale. So, let's see where this goes. I'm There's so never a bruise no, no, no. on any of you. Baloney, you, you got a minute? Look at this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No! Metal hip. I, I never, never saw that, and uh, I'm... You don't act like you're hurt. And, but that's, again, that's... That's part of the allure. That is part of the dance. I'm not gonna get mad at every time someone opens up their opens up their mouth and shows what they don't know. He doesn't know our business. He doesn't know what it is that 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 we do. So let's see how this ends. Yes, you real, can take a real bat. A baseball bat, a wooden yes. baseball yes, bat that a real baseball player yes, would yes. use. Yes, I, I use a real bat. Oh, yeah. But you have to know how to take the hit. You have to know how to fall, show and that's yeah. what we're all you about. Give us a bat, and we'll yeah. show you. Yeah, I always get asked about the chairs. Are they fake chairs? No, they are not. Are they fake tables? No, they are not. And the one thing I get, ah, oh, I literally still answer to this day when it talks about the, you know, the, the getting color, the blood. That's blood packets, isn't it? Never in all the years I've been in, in aligned with this business. They were accurate, though. Um, we, we, you know, we know how to hit people in safe places. And if you don't know that, you don't do it. Now that we've seen all these, what are the, what's the one common denominator that, that links all of these videos together? For me, and I might be wrong, I don't think so, all the people saying that our business is fake aren't fans. They're not the true people that wrestling is intended for. They're not the target audience. They're chasing a story. And whenever you chase any story, 
you're going to go after the lowest hanging fruit. And unfortunately in professional wrestling, the lowest hanging fruit today and the lowest hanging fruit tomorrow and the lowest hanging fruit in a hundred years is going to be that it's fake. Now you'll never hear me say that wrestling's fake. Reason why? I broke my leg in the ring. To check that out, watch the video on screen.